If you've ever looked out of an airplane window at its cruising altitude and looked down, that is how deep the deepest part of our ocean is, also known as the Mariana Trench, located in the Western Pacific Ocean, specifically east of the Philippines. This trench is so deep with its maximum depth of, get this, 10,984 meters or 36,037 feet. That's seven miles. But what is actually inside this ginormous trench and how in the world does life exist so deep down? Let's get right into it. If you thought Antarctica was the harshest place to live on Earth, think again, because it's absolutely nothing compared to living in the Mariana Trench. As you probably guessed, there is no sunlight, making it completely pitch black 24-7, or even more frightening, forever. And of course, since there's no sunlight, it's pretty cold, being 34 to 39 degrees Fahrenheit. And I can't forget to mention the immense pressures down there. The pressures are so high that it's equivalent to a polar bear standing on a postage stamp, or an average-sized human carrying the weight of 50 jumbo jets. So yeah, if you ever want to go down there, you will need a specialized submarine, like the one director James Cameron used to explore the Titanic. So, what's actually inside and what strange creatures actually live there? Among the most abundant inhabitants include microorganisms like bacteria and archaea, which thrive in something called hydrothermal vents also known as black smokers. They emit superheated mineral-rich water that supports chemosynthetic ecosystems, communities that derive energy from chemical reactions rather than sunlight. If you've ever seen the Yellowstone National Park geysers or hot springs, these vents are pretty much the same, just in an underwater form. These vents are created when seawater seeps into ocean crusts near tectonic plate boundaries, where it is heated by magma and then rises back to the surface through vents. There are of course bigger creatures that exist down there, like sea piggies, and they aren't like the pigs on the surface. They almost look like gummy bears and are surprisingly in the same class that starfish and sea urchins are in. They actually have no eyes and five to seven legs with two blight feet to help them move across the sea floor. They are known as deposit feeders, and they use their long tentacles around their mouths to dig up decaying materials. They often gather in large groups to feast on sunken whale carcasses and other food. Now, let's get into even more creatures, these ones that are honestly scary looking. The Mariana Trench hosts quite a few rare shark species. The most notable are the goblin shark and another one known as the frilled shark, both equally terrifying. The goblin shark is known for its long snout, which kind of looks like Pinocchio's nose, while the frilled shark almost looks like it came from the age of the dinosaurs. Frilled sharks have an eel-like appearance and an astonishing 300 needle-like teeth across 25 rows and six pairs of gill slits. Both are very active predators and may lunge and swallow their prey whole. And lastly, I can't forget the one infamous bony-looking fish that I'm sure you've all heard of, especially from the film Finding Nemo, that being the deep sea anglerfish. These fish are some of the craziest looking fish on our planet, which is mostly because of the light bulb on the top of their head, or it's more commonly called the lure, because it attracts prey to come close enough to be swallowed, or if not swallowed, devoured by their razor sharp teeth. So yeah, the Mariana Trench sure is pretty scary and dangerous, but one thing's for sure, this place is definitely not like anywhere else on earth. I hope you enjoyed, and as always, thanks for watching.